Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be doing the very first seasonal quest in the new season, Season of Abyss. If you're brand new to the game and this is your very first season, every two weeks or so we usually have a new seasonal quest available to play through. And completing every single seasonal quest will unlock a little bit of story and give you a free heart. If you're also brand new, I do have an ultimate guide. On the Season of Abyss, it has everything you would ever want to know about the spirits, where they can be found, the cosmetics, the winged light, and I also have a thalassophobic version for those who are a little bit afraid of the ocean. Now our first step is to head to the new area. This is in the Wasteland Social Space. We have a boat here at the end of the pier, and this will bring us to the Treasure Reef, the new location of the Season of Abyss. Here we are in the treasure reef area. If you keep going ahead into that cave, you can learn how to dive, which you will need to learn to complete this quest. But we're gonna head over towards the left side. This boat here houses our seasonal guide who will give us our seasonal quests. There they are. They really give me the same vibe as the skater from the season of dreams. So this here is our seasonal guide. Like I said, every two weeks or so, a new seasonal quest will unlock and we can initiate the new quest through them. So let's get started. All we have to do is tap the button above their head. Um, so they have a bunch of quests going all the way up and at the very top, if we complete every quest, we can unlock a rebreather, which will give us extra oxygen. This rebreather may cost candles. We're unsure at the moment. So this spirit is looking for resources. And then we turn and the entire pirate crew is here. Here is our seasonal treasure map and they're going to mark off our first location for this quest, which is this little tower with a point on it. So that is where we're going to have to look for our resources. Um, we can always double check the map if we didn't pay enough attention. Zoom. Search the area for resources and bring them back. So, uh, right above us there is the tower at the very top, so we're facing the map about this way. So the tower should be right in the middle here, and yes, we can see one with a little golden spire. Now let's dive in. Sploosh. So our plan is to get into this building, but as you can see, it's pretty heavily barricaded. However, on one side, it is starting to crumble. And we can actually sneak in. The plant life is sneaking out. We are sneaking in. The resources in question are these little gems. There we go. First quest pretty much done. Very easy. The gates will now open and this area will become easily accessible. And now we're just going to swim back to the ship. I really love how swimming feels. They did a great job. Did you know that you can also do like a dash swim? Sort of like how you jump in the game by um, flipping your character up. You can do a dash in the water. All right, so we're headed back to the boat and we will bring in our resources. I wonder why they need these crystals. Now that we've collected the gem, all we have to do is tap on the quest again and the cutscene for this quest will start. You fulfill the wish of this ancestor spirit. So here everyone's bringing in their findings. Ooh, two gems. Four and uh, six gems, wow. And then here we are, embarrassing. Here's my one gem. 
Oh man. However, the captain still nods and approves us as a member of the crew. Yay. And with that, they mark off this area because we've scoured it enough. That place is done. And now if we speak to the guide again, we will have a free heart after completing that quest, which we can accept. Heart. And that is it for our very first quest in the Season of Abyss. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.